Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, gotten done with a whole host of different missions for uh, Griff, Mission's brother, and the Gina Haradin. We found out the Gina Haradin guy we were talking to was trying to kill off the other overseers of the Gina Haradin. And uh, in response, we killed him. And we finished up all of our contracts. So uh, we don't have to worry about the Gino Haradin anymore. Hey, hey. And we got all the freebie cool shit that we could have gotten. I shouldn't be swearing this early in the episode. <clears throat> anyway. Um, other than that, he was a scumbag. We took him out. And then we uh, got all the loot from him and his buddies. Because he brought buddies. Because he's a manipulative little douchebag. And, uh, yeah, that went beautifully. Also, uh, apparently, Bastila has leveled up. So I'm going to work on that. Um, treat injury and awareness. There we go. And then work on her powers, which we'll do uh, improved energy resistance, I guess. Why not? She's already pretty well up on everything else. I mean, otherwise I would have done heal. Hmm. Heal's probably a better use for right now. There we go. And then next level up we'll do uh, energy resistance. That's probably a good idea. Okay. So, anyway. Onward we go. We're here on Kashyyyk to finish up a quest... That was real down far on my to-do list because I guess I just forgot to follow up on it. So we'll just finish that up. I have to go back to the village before I can do that. So we will go and do that for however long it takes. Because it will take a long time. It is a long trip. Now to make sure which way I'm supposed to be going. That's to the Shadowlands. And that's to the village. Okay. So I get to the main crossroads. And then I turn up. The other direction. Okay. Sounds good to me. Alright. That should make it easier. And then we go this way. Beautiful. And then there's the supply station here. Which I think I've already gone through the supplies here. Pretty sure. I want to double check. Yeah, it's empty and empty. Yeah, so I did. Okay, cool. Wahoo. Onward we go. And into the village we go. Wookie guard. Alright. Into the village. Alright. Alright. Uh, we take this little path down. And then we... I think we go into a building. But I don't remember which building. Huh. I don't remember that gong being there. Also, it said the door was locked, but it let me in. <laughs> Welcome back, Fairy Khan. Much is happening, but I can spare a moment. Our fight against the slavers will be a long one. Have you questions? Uh, I should be going. I think I already talked about all of that stuff with you a while back. So, we should be good. So, back to the village. Of Rokroro. I think that was how it was pronounced. I don't remember... There was another building. There was another place I needed to go into to do the thing. 
Did I ever empty that out? No, yes I did. Okay. Fair enough. Warwills. Warwills home. Was that the room I had to go to? Jarak and Warwell. You're back again? Have you seen? No, you wouldn't tell me. You wouldn't care. Leave the boy alone, please. I'm Farron Khan. I helped Freya return to power. I'm a friend. I don't know about that. I hear lots of things and I'm not sure what to think anymore. Do you know whose bolt casing this is? What? Uh, sure, it looks like... Like Jirax. I think so, anyway. I'm not sure. This bolt casing was found on Roar War's body. On Roar War's body? Then... Then he's dead? But he can't be. Don't listen to him, Warwell. Outsiders only lie when their mouths are open. You know that. War... Roar War was dealing with slavers. Do you know anything about this? No, he doesn't. You don't say another thing to him. You want to lie, you lie to me, outsider. I think I begin to see what has occurred here. We should speak to Jarek at once. Leave. Leave the boy alone, please. You'll want to talk to me. Alright. What do you have to say about it? Speak with me directly, away from the boy, please. Very well, I'll speak with you. Goodbye, Warwell. <coughs> Goodbye, I guess. Okay. You have made a terrible claim against me, outsider. Do what you must with it, but leave me alone. I know that you had reason to kill him. That's not for you to decide. You shouldn't possibly understand how this affects my people or me. Do what you must. The holder of the laws will decide my fate in proper Wookiee tradition. Okay. Leave the boy alone. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, I guess. I guess I have to talk to the... Took the holder of the laws, I guess? The bolt casing found on Roar War's corpse belongs to Jirak. Jirak may be the one that killed Roar War. Okay. Do what I must with it. Uh, do I go here? War's Rosnor's home. Wow, that's a hell of a name. War Rosnor. Greetings again, outsider. Please, if you have business here, make it brief. Do you know who owns this bolt casing? Hmm. Let's see if the family insignia is there. Yes, there it is. This belongs to Jirak. Uh, how did you get it? I found Jirak's bolt casing on Roar War's corpse. Oh my, that is very distressing. It definitely seems to suggest that Jirak helped in Roar War's death. I... I can't ignore this. Wait here, outsider. I must address this. I will have Jirak brought here. And I hope he can explain this. I really do. Jirak, you know why you have been summoned here. As holder of the laws, I ask you to explain. I won't answer. I can't. War was nor. Must war will be here. War will has a bond with Roar War. He is the closest to family that can be found. He is entitled to be here. Jarak, please speak. If you are guilty, it means death. This outsider will be given your possessions. Do you want that? Wait. <laughs> if he dies, I get his shit. Is that how I'm understanding it? I shouldn't be swearing this early in the episode. <laughs> So if he dies, I get his stuff. Won't you say anything in your defense? I killed Roar. I will accept whatever punishment is given. It's better if only my honor is tainted. You did do it? Why? Roar was good and honorable. 
Why did you kill him? You only need to know that I did it. The reason is unimportant, Royal. I'm sorry. I won't let you do this. Roar War was dealing with slavers. What? What are you talking about? Liar! Please, don't tell them anything. Roar War was admired. They need to believe in him. I'm old. I'm not important. Let Roar Will and the others have their hero. No, I won't do this. Explain yourself, outside. If you have information that will affect this trial, I must know it. Don't listen to these outsider lies. Please, Warwell, don't listen. Roar War dealt with slavers. The data pad I found on his corpse proves it. But, no. No, that's not... That can't be. Jurek. I'm sorry, Warwell. I didn't want you to know. So much is against us. You needed someone to look up to. I couldn't let him betray you. Betray everyone. Outsiders are enough of a threat by themselves. We don't need traitors of our own kind. How sad. It feels like the right thing to do, but to destroy a hero. Well, as holder of the laws, I declare Jarak innocent. I will see to your release. Well, I must say that you are the first outsider that I have been glad to know. You have surprised me. Perhaps some of you are capable of honor after all. You are deserving of your reward. Um, my reward? What? What reward? Did I not explain? As the person that discovered the crime, you were also affected by it. You would have been given a portion of Jurak's possessions, but he was innocent. Roar War, however, was not. Roar War was wealthy. His family was taken by slavers, leaving him everything. You get one third of this. Roar War receives the rest if he wishes. He is still upset, but he is young. He will recover. <laughs> so. Warwell receives the lion's share, but I receive a third of what this hero had, which was a lot of money. So either way, I win. <laughs> can I ask you if anything is happening now? Nothing that you can help with. Roar War's crime is causing a bit of a stir, but it will pass in time. Some of us will be disappointed in him, but we have other enemies to worry about. Goodbye. Baka got you. I get 400 credits. 1,600 experience points. Light side points. And all I lost was the data pad that proves that the other guy was a scumbag. <laughs> wow, okay. That ain't too bad. Wow. Wow. Time for a level up. Hell yeah. Okay, attributes. Bring strength up again. I don't see why not. Uh, skills. Um, should I bother with that? Just put in persuade. Because I want to keep going into repair so I can keep fixing up uh, HK-47. That way I can keep learning about previous uh, owners of his. Powers? Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's go with... Uh, go with stasis? No, no. I already have pretty good with force wave. I don't need to go any further with that. Let's go with stuff that will help me, like heal. That's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Pretty okay with that. And we are at level 16. We have four levels until the level cap in this game. I think. I think with the other DLC, the level cap is raised, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. I know also in 2 you don't have a level cap. At least I don't think you do. Anywho. 
onward we go. All right. And also that rose my light side up quite a bit. I'm now higher than the other two. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Not how I expected that to go. But that finishes that thing. My computer gave me a notification, which I could hear through my headphones. That is unimportant. Okay. So... Completed quest. Jarak was not killed for the murder of Roror. Roror was dealing with the slavers and was thus a traitor to his kind. Alrighty. Okay. Dantooine map, Dantooine map, data pad, holocron, hunter's license. This is all the quest items. I just wanted to see. Just wanted to see. That's all. Um... Hmm. I just wanted to see what my chance to hit was for my weapons. And it's pretty high. Not as high as hers for her stuff. Actually, it's higher than hers. Actually, it's higher than all of them. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, so the green wasn't hers. Huh. Whose was the green then? Jolie's? Maybe. Maybe it was Jolie's. Hmm. <laughs> okay, can I... Yes, I can return to the Ebonhawk. Okay. There we are. We are back at our ship. We shall get out of here. There we go. And I shall adjust lightsabers uh we'll primarily be taking jolie's green so that way i can be all green for mine because i am a fan of green and give jolie the purple so he can be like samuel l jackson because i'm an asshole like that um hmm, hmm. do i want to do that double bladed bondar and rubat yeah, ain't too bad. Um, diamond and diamond, so she can hit a little better. What about um, next door? Oh, well, we'll give him next door. How about that? Since I have Jolie on my team most of the time, anyway. Um, oh, I could do another violet removal. Let's do that. Another violet removal. Oh, I don't have any power crystals to put in there. That's fine. Uh, so let's actually... With... Jihani's. Let's have her lightsabers be purple and red. Because I like that. And now I'm all green. <laughs> I'm a happy cat. I'm a happy cat. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Go back to Manan, where I should be all done with quests outside of the main story path. Key for at peace should be. Okay, again. Okay, we well, got you. Try to get you while you're out there. Got you. you. Blinded by the sun. Blinded by the light. Okay. Okay. Where are you? Shit. 
Come on. Got you. Look, bastard. Got you. There we go. Oh boy. Hey, for once I did it without having to open the pause menu. <laughs> hey. <sighs> Finally. All right. Wait, can I talk to Jahani now? Have I gotten enough experience yet to How finally let me do that? What is it you would like to... <gasps> yes, I have! Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I did that bit, but okay. <laughs> what happened after your father died? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single, non-human woman living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Taras. It was not easy for her. I bet. What happened? When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us, and had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. Jesus. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer, and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. Surely there was a doctor. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Taras. You were enslaved? They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. Jesus. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what it is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credits for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. And they freed you. A Jedi could not abide by what they saw there, and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. In the middle of that, my PS... <laughs> not my PS... My Xbox One turned on again? I'm starting to think this thing is cursed. <laughs> or, more likely... Because it's facing my Series X, it's jealous that I'm playing on the Series X more. <laughs> and it's like, hey, I can work too. <laughs> I mean, it's possible, but still. Uh, just not to detract from the seriousness of her story. Um, at least she got freed and everything technically worked out for her, but... uh. What was the dream? I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine. And we both know what has happened since then. You turned away from the dark side. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you. But for now, let us keep on the task at hand. Fair enough. And you have learned that after her father died, Jahani had been sold into slavery. It was also after her mother died, but technically, yeah. When the Jedi came to Taurus, they freed her and the other slaves. As soon as she was able, she left to find the Jedi and train with them. That is what brought her to Tat uh, Dantooine. She may yet have stories to tell. Perhaps you should ask her later. Fair enough. <coughs> Um, I wonder if you could help me with a problem. 
Okay. Um, anything more to say about yourself? You've seen more than I would have allowed and taught me some things too. I'm grateful for that. It will be a while before I know what my role will be in making Kashyyyk truly free. I have a lot to learn. service with me, Jesus. Uh, why did you request to take Baka's sword? I'm not sure I really know. Father expects much of me. I guess I do as well. I think when I've learned enough, I'll bring it back to Kashyyyk. What happens then? We'll see. Fair enough. Let's get going. Alright, and maybe with that level up I got in repair, maybe I can get further with HK-47. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. That's good to hear. I'm going to try restoring some of your memory. Affirmative. Request. Let's get started. Statement. And now rewire the last right. three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered the last of my deleted memory, Master. Unfortunately, my history is still not complete. What? Why not? Answer. As I did inform you, Master, the majority of my memory is still locked within my core. That can only be accessed by the appropriate stimuli. And okay. I have no idea what that stimuli might be, unfortunately. Mm. Sadly, it seems my true origins will always be a mystery. Are you sure your core isn't just damaged? Observation. If it was, Master, your restorations will certainly have ensured that the proper stimulus restores my core's functions. Mm -hmm. Sadly, that could have already happened and we missed it, and my core was too damaged to activate. Oh, woe is me. I mean, you are eager to find your origins, aren't you? Query. Wouldn't you be master? Here I am, surrounded by all these meat bags, and all I desire is true perfection. Mm. Surely there are more droids like me out there. Or is that too much to hope? Well... Objection. Oh, fine. Laugh at me, master. Humiliate your pet droid. Go ahead. I wasn't trying to humiliate you. <laughs> And I don't really see you as a pet anything, but okay. Uh, tell me about this last owner, then. Correction. That would actually be my first owner, Master. The first I can remember. Mm -hmm. I had completed an assassination in Mandalorian space, though I have no knowledge of what my target was or who sent me. Regardless, my motor function had been damaged, and I could not return to wherever I had been sent from. A Mandalorian soldier claimed me as Booty, I believe. He repaired <laughs> he said me, booty. poorly, I might add, and proceeded to use my assassination protocol to raise his rank. Does nobody decent ever find you? Observation. You found me, Master. Perhaps you are simply fortunate that my assassination protocol no longer functions. At any rate, mm, it maybe. seems that my Mandalorian owner finally decided to send me against Mandalore himself. Whoa. My poorest performance, sadly. Why is that? Answer. I was captured by this Mandalore during the attempt. He was able to reverse my programming and send me after my own master. Oh. It was quite distressing. There was little I could do. Needless to say, I dispatched the Mandalorian soldier efficiently. Once I deactivated, I believe I eventually ended up on the black market and was sold to the hut on Slaheron. <sighs> My darkest day. So you killed that master directly? Statement. So I did. I am not very proud of that master. The soldiers seem very startled, I must say. You're just a traveling piece of bad luck, aren't you? Objection. That is so unfair, Master. Have I not brought you a great deal of satisfaction? You don't want to hear the answer to that. Statement. 
You are a very harsh master, master. I like you. <laughs> oh, you're so mean. Nice. <laughs> Destroy to me. <laughs> you got a little fight in you. I like that. Okay. Um, so you... <laughs> so you couldn't kill Mandalore, hey? Statement. With all due respect, Master, he is the leader of the Mandalorians. That's fair. Perhaps my old master was foolish to send me after him. True. So can you remember... Anything else? Answer. There are a few Mandalorian implants that I can activate now. They will improve my performance. Beyond mm. that, Master, there is nothing more I can relate to you. Mm. With luck, we will discover the stimulus to unlock my core very soon. Here's hoping. Hmm. HK will now regenerate at a rate of... Ooh, excuse me. Burpee. Will now regenerate at a rate of one vitality point every three seconds and has gained an additional plus two bonus to his dexterity. Nice. Prior to the hut, it seems that HK-47 was owned by a Mandalorian soldier. This is the last of HK-47's retrievable memories, however, and it seems the chain is still not complete. Had been on an assassination mission in Mandalorian space when he was damaged, but does not know who had originally sent him. Unless the stimuli to restore his deeper core is discovered, the details may never be known. Well, shit. Well, we're at, at least we're close. So right now we're just waiting for that proper stimuli. And then Juhani has more stories, and possibly Jolie Bindo. We'll talk to him. But, uh... First, yeah, what do you let's talk want? to Candras. Tell me more about the Mandalorian Wars. We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Revan abandoned mm -hmm. worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. You couldn't have won against the whole galaxy. But it was close. So close. It looked like the entire galaxy was within our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. What happened in the battle? It was not your ships or your men or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, the Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, and the subtleties of his plans. He fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Why didn't you retreat? It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? Fair enough. Nothing more for now. I'm here if you want something done right. That's fair. Candrus described the end of Mandalorian Wars to you. He seemed to admire Revan greatly. Maybe you can ask him about this later. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe there's one last thing I can get out of Jolie. You got something on your mind, do you? Yeah, why did you leave the Jedi? <laughs> Who said I left the Jedi? Are you saying you're still a Jedi? Well, technically I was only a Padawan. 
Not that that makes a difference to most, but uh, the I order see. itself. No, I never left it. It left me. What do you mean it left you? You know what I hate? Well, you know, lots of things really. Well, you're old. I'm old and easily annoyed. Yeah, that's, that's besides exactly what I said. What I really <laughs> hate are how most people view the Jedi. Everyone thinks that the Jedi are perfect, that they can do no wrong. They think the Jedi Council is completely incapable of injustice. Let me guess. You disagree. Damn right I disagree. The Jedi are just as capable of injustice as anyone else. They may try harder, sure, but sometimes they get it wrong. And I'm not even talking about how some of us fall to the dark side. No, that's plenty indication of our fallibility. But it's something else entirely. No, I'm talking about how more than often not, your average robe-wearing Jedi can try to do the right thing and still be completely wrong. Nobody can be right about everything. That's true, but it's not what I meant. I guess I'm not being clear, am I? Come mm -hmm. to think of it, I don't have to be clear. Someone my age is entitled to ramble, damn it. But for your <laughs> sake, I'll try to explain. Okay. I'll tell you a little tale about a Jedi master I once knew. Hortaf, I think. Or was it Hortoff? Uh, I could never get it straight. Okay. Go on, I'll listen. Where was I then? Oh, oh yes, Master Hortaf. He was a kindly old Jedi who meant well, but the most nearsighted thing in the core, I swear. He would walk into walls, knock over tables, mistake apprentices for rancor beasts, what? that sort of thing. And he was too proud to submit to proper treatment. Some used to counsel him and urge to use the Force, Master Hordef. Allow the Force to see for you. But he refused to believe that his eyes were failing. He simply squinted more and more as the years went on. The other Jedi resignedly passing it off as the amusing quirk of a compassionate old man. Hmm. Okay. Go on. So, one day a young Padawan meets Master Hordef in the courtyard and... Not knowing of his blindness, asks him for directions to the council. Quite sure of himself, Hordef gave the lad directions, which happened to lead back outside and away from the Enclave. The Padawan is confused, naturally, and he asks if Master Hordef is sure, and of course Master Hordef says that he is. The Padawan suggests that perhaps he should ask someone else, but the proud Hordef now feels insulted. He tells the Padawan to take the route he prescribed and no other. Rather dejectedly, the Padawan did as he was told, and so ended up leaving the Jedi Order forever. It was decided that the boy's fate was to leave the Order anyway, though whether that was out of respect for Hordath or because the boy went on to something else, well, we'll never know. So you knew this Master Hordath or the Padawan? No, no, both of them were from before my time. Well before the Sith Wars, even. I don't understand. The tale is about blindness, and I thought the point was clear. At any rate, you think about it. You're the one who asked why the Jedi left me, remember? Now let's get going. My feet are itching for a good run. Okay. Successfully got Jolie to talk about the Jedi, and he told a tale about how they are often less than perfect. He might talk some more if you ask later, once you've gained more experience. Does that include right after that? Okay, no, it doesn't. Oh, I get it. Yeah, let's play with the old senile man. <laughs> okay. So. The Padawan was destined to leave anyway. Huh. <laughs> It's rather weird. I don't think I get the gist of that story personally either. I don't think I get it. <laughs> I don't think I can get it. Uh, trust me, I'm trying. Uh, hmm. It's really weird. 
It's really, really weird. Is that just a weird way of saying the old adage, even a broken clock is right once or twice a day? Is that what it's supposed to be? Am I supposed to take it literally and see what that meant? I I don't know. I, I really wonder if that's technically what it means. I mean, I guess that's the closest thing. Even a broken clock is right once or twice a day. I mean, it's very true. And quite frankly, that's probably the closest you'll get to, you know, an in-lore universe way of, in-universe lore, rather, a uh, way of explaining that. But really? Is that... Am I supposed to take that story literally and come to that conclusion? I guess. I guess that might be. I don't... I don't know, honestly. I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't know. I sure as fuck don't know for sure. And what armor do I have on again? I have that. I don't want that. I want this. Especially since the other one can't be upgraded anyway. I might give that armor to someone else. Sure. But I don't think I want it on myself. I'm already on Manon, aren't I? <laughs> I'm probably already on Manon. Uh, I got so sidetracked with talking with everyone. All right. Um, take HK and T3M4. Because I know those two have level ups that I need to deal with now. Knew it. All right. Um... I'll go with his level up skills, uh, repair, demolitions. Yeah, that should work. That should work fine. Droid upgrade class three. Okay. That was what I was hoping for. Now I can throw this on him. And then I can throw this on you. Perfect. All right. That should be fine. And then we go to this with T3 skills. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, hmm. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Droid upgrade class three. What did I throw on him again? It was type 3 heavy plating. Maybe I can buy that heavy plating again off of that one guy. Because he was on Manon. Maybe I could do that. Maybe. Anyway. Um, let me see your inventory. You have nothing I want. Okay. Well, nothing right now. Uh, you don't actually have anything at all. Jesus. Why did I even talk to you? <laughs> all right. And then we go this away. Down here. All right. And let's see. You were the Zack guy. Don't need to talk to you. Uh, 
And if I don't have to talk to you, I ain't gonna. Alright. Okay. So, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Where do I go to do the thing I need to do? Uh, this way. Maybe. Otto West. Okay. Alright, so I'm a little lost. Because I have too many thoughts going in my head. Alright. I did not mean to hit that button. I meant to hit this button. <laughs> to... Swap them. Bring in Jahani and Jolie. And then we're good. Okay. Alrighty. Well then. Um, I have a lot of evidence that will say that Sunri is innocent. But I also need to go into the Sith Embassy. Oh boy. To High Court. Um, that's the Mercenary Enclave. Okay. You know what? I'm going to end the episode now, and I will get the rest of this figured out in a bit. Because my brain is going in too many directions. Uh, I'm thinking of all the stories that I was told uh, from all the other guys, and I'm just... <laughs> I'm just unable to focus on anything else. So, I will get to this in the next episode. That's probably the best thing I can do. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and getting a lot of catching up done with Candorous, Jahani, Jolie, and HK47. Uh, finishing up all of the missions outside of the main story path uh, that would be on other planets, except for Korriban, but we'll get to that. And uh, just trying to make it all make sense in my head, because right now I have gone through too much of it, and I, I'm swimming in all the thoughts that are in my head for right now. So hopefully it'll be sorted out by the next episode for you.